Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. John Cole was the premier strongman of the early 1970s, known as the strongest man in the world, an accolade that if anything undersells his remarkable achievements. He competed in the shot put, discus, powerlifting, Olympic weightlifting and the inaugural world's strongest man. John Frederick Cole was born on the 1st of April 1943 in Chicago, Illinois. Although born in Chicago, John grew up in Arizona, where at the age of 12 and only weighing 97 pounds, he bought his first set of weights. From that day forward, weightlifting became his passion. Cole entered high school in 1959, where he was an all-state track and field for two years and high school state champion in the discus as a junior and senior. He set the national high school record in the discus at 178 feet 8 inches and was named to the National High School All-American Track and Field Team in 1961 and 62. Cole graduated high school with academic and athletic honours and accepted a four-year full scholarship to Arizona State University. While at ASU, he set the school state and conference records in the discus, shot put and was named an NCAA and AAU All-American in 1965 and 66. Whilst attending ASU, Cole continued to train in powerlifting, weightlifting and even began to coach other students. His first competitive outing was at the 1967 Arizona State Olympic Heavyweight Championships, where he took first place and set four state records, to finish with a combined total of £1,055. After this, Cole decided to compete in powerlifting, entering and winning his first meet in 1967. There he competed in the 242 pound weight class and finished with a total of 1,815.5 pounds. One year later, he took part in his first national level competition, the 1968 Seniors. There he achieved a 705 pound squat, 465 pound bench press and pulled 720 pounds in the deadlift. To easily win the competition, with a total of £1,890. Even at this early stage, athletes were in awe of Cole's strength, with none other than Arnold Schwarzenegger writing an article in the August 1969 edition of Muscle Builder Power magazine, titled John of All Trades, Master of All, in which Arnold stated, John Cole will be one of the potentially greatest strength athletes of all time. After graduating from Arizona State University in 1969, Cole went on to compete in track and field powerlifting and Olympic lifting at the same time. Besides setting numerous records in the discus and shot put, probably his biggest achievement as a track athlete is his first place finish at the National AAU Track and Field Championships, where he set a National AAU discus record with a distance of 208 feet 10 inches to defeat the Olympic silver medalist Jay Sylvester. During his time as a track and field athlete, Cole was witnessed and verified to have achieved a 100-yard dash in 9.9 .9 seconds at a body weight of 258 pounds, thrown a javelin 241 feet, discus 231 feet 7 inches, a throw that easily would have taken gold at the Olympics that year and finally thrown a shot put 71 feet 4 inches. Cole made his return to weightlifting to win the 1969 Arizona State Olympic Heavyweight Championships for a second time, again setting four state records including a £1,090 total. The following year he competed at and won his second senior national powerlifting championship in the 242 pound weight class achieving a squat of 760 pounds, a bench press of 520 and finally a deadlift of 780 pounds to finish the competition with a total of 2060 pounds. Although records from that period Apache, this would appear to be the heaviest raw total of all time. John would next compete at the 1971 Arizona State Powerlifting Championships where he became the first person in his weight class to achieve an 800 pound squat. He followed this with a 525 pound bench press and an all-time record deadlift of 815 pounds. 
Cole finished the competition with an all-time record total of £2,140. And as if this wasn't enough, he also became the first person in history to achieve an 800-pound squat and deadlift within a single competition. 1972 would be the year that cemented John Cole as one of the greatest powerlifters and weightlifters of all time, starting with winning his third AAU State Olympic Weightlifting Championship, where he set four more records, this time in the super heavyweight class, with a press of 430 pounds, jerk of 430 pounds, and a snatch of 340 pounds, to finish with a total of 1200 pounds one of the highest totals in the US at that time. Entering his first powerlifting competition of the year, he competed at the Senior Nationals in the 275-pound weight class. Here, he achieved an 865-pound squat, a 570-pound bench press, and an 820-pound deadlift, to become the first person in history to total over 2,200 pounds. Six weeks later, Cole rewrote powerlifting history at the AAU Arizona State Championships. There, he was at his biggest, standing 5 foot 10 inches tall and tipping the scales at 283 pounds. He became the first person in history to squat over 900 pounds. Followed by a bench press of 580 pounds, and set an all-time record deadlift of 885 pounds. The weights were later weighed out to an all-time record total of 2,364 pounds, making him the first person in history to total over 2,300 pounds. John's total remained unbeaten in his weight class for the following 48 years. During his powerlifting career, Cole set 62 official national, American and world records in two weight classes, becoming the first man in history to squat over 900 pounds and total over 2,200 and 2,300 pounds, and he did so in only ace knee wraps. To provide context to John Cole's incredible strength, Herb Glossbrenner calculated the five lift super total of the world's best strength athletes made up of the squat, bench press, deadlift, snatch and clean and jerk. Not only did Cole record the highest super total, beating the likes of Bill Kazmaier, Mark Henry and Don Reinold, he did so at a considerably lighter body weight. As if this wasn't impressive enough, Bob Gaynor and Bruce Wilhelm believed that had Cole competed at the World Powerlifting Championships held two weeks later, he would have annihilated the competition with Bob speculating that Cole could have realistically achieved a £2,440 total. Indeed, Bob's speculation was later somewhat confirmed, when during an interview given in a 1994 edition of Powerlifting USA, Cole stated that in training he had done a perfect bench press of £610, and later at a body weight of only £258, he had pulled a deadlift of 905 pounds on an Olympic bar for two single reps, separated by only three minutes. Having proved he was the best powerlifter in the world, Cole remained absent from competition for the next five years, instead focusing on business ventures that made him into a millionaire and saw his body weight fall from 280 to 230 pounds. Cole made his return to powerlifting at the 1977 Senior Nationals. Competing in the 242-pound weight class, he managed a 705-pound squat and a 463-pound bench press before withdrawing through injury. A few weeks later, Cole competed in Arlington, Texas. Again in the 242-pound weight class, he achieved a squat of 780 pounds, bench press of 505, and a deadlift of 780, to finish the competition with a total of 2,065 pounds. While impressive, he was still far behind his peak of 1972. It was around this time that Cole was invited to compete at the inaugural World's Strongest Man, where he was built to weigh 256 pounds. His competition got off to a shaky start 
when he struggled to get to grips with the unbalanced lead shot and liquid filled barrels used in the first event, and that ultimately led to his disqualification for not cleaning the barrel to his chest before pressing it. Yeah, I'm sorry, John, but the judges had a conference after your lift, and they had to rule that the lift was not acceptable. Carl was able to put his strength to better use in the bar bend to finish in third place behind Lou Ferrigno and Franco Colombo, leaving him in fourth place overall going into the wrist roll, where he finished in fifth out of the eight competitors, and thus scored zero points, dropping down to join fifth place on the leaderboard. Carl put in a much better performance in the wheelbarrow carry to score his second third place finish of the competition only losing out to the much heavier Bruce Wilhelm and Ken Patera. While this was a good result, it didn't stop him slipping to 6th place overall. The next event was the tyre toss, and it's another event that has seldom to do with strength but was one in which Cole's experience in the discus helped him to take 4th place. Despite another respectable finish, due to the unusual scoring system used in the early years of the competition, he fell to 7th place. The sixth event was a trample, an event in which the athlete's size played a significant role, and so that showed in the results that the top three places went to the three heaviest athletes, with Cole finishing down in fifth place and thus scoring zero points. The car deadlift was the first event in which Carl was able to utilise his excellent static strength, and although not at his 1972 peak, he still managed to finish in second place with a lift of 2,634 pounds, a result that moved him up to fifth place overall. The eighth event was the max squat, an event that Cole surely would have won five years earlier, but here he finished in joint second place with Franco Colombo. The result moved Cole to sixth place overall, going into the penultimate event, the fridge carry in which he would need to finish in at least third place to guarantee himself a spot in the final. Sadly, after seeing what happened to Franco, Cole put in an apprehensive performance and finished in sixth place overall. Years later, John Cole summed up the competition perfectly when interviewed by Herb Glossbrenner for the 1994 edition of Powerlifting USA. Cole stated, the competition was crazy not tuned to athletic strength, but most conducive to injury, and many of the events favoured the biggest men. When considering John Cole's 1,200-pound weightlifting total, his 62 state, national and world records, and finally the fact that his 5-lift super total is the highest of all time, despite being one of the lightest athletes on the list, is John Cole the strongest man to ever live? If you still don't think so, consider this. Back in 1972, John Cole publicly challenged Paul Anderson's claim of being the world's strongest man. While Anderson responded to the challenge, his proposal was unacceptable and nothing further came of it. However, looking at the athlete's best verified lifts, Anderson would have likely won the squat before being destroyed in the bench press and deadlift. Both athletes' weightlifting numbers were remarkably close but their super total shows a sizeable win for Cole. And this doesn't take into account that Anderson outweighed Cole by close to 100 pounds. That's it for the video, but thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please support the algorithm by hitting like, sharing the video, leaving a comment, and subscribing for more. Thank you.